Hey everybody, and I'm back with another Geared Perspectives video. Uh, we are going to be going over the Escalation Potential Hill locations for Gridlock, Dam, Foundation, and Harbor. Uh, I'm going to start off with Gridlock because it's been there for a long, long time. Ten years. It's like the bad penny of maps. No matter how much we want to get rid of it, it always keeps coming back. I do want to say that I've never been a fan of this map. You'll never have an instance of me saying that I've liked it. Um, it's just, I've never liked it overall. It's been my least favorite map in Gears, and it just keeps coming back. Uh, you know, and you know, it, it's a staple of what the community wants, and it keeps returning, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, I am going to go over some video or over a file that I created with uh, once the... Um, blitz update came out i actually had them done before the blitz update came out because i helped them work on the hills and spawn locations uh, got everything mapped out ahead of time uh, i didn't release them until the patch dropped uh just out of respect to the coalition because they asked me not to uh but it has been a year so i will talk about some of the logic behind why the hills were moved and why we changed some of the spawn points because it was to make the game flow better uh, so with that, I'm going to move uh, some cameras over and then readjust the screens. Uh, we're going to start off. This is the overview that I did for Blitz. I did this for all the videos. I will be doing this for Escalation as well uh, in a some sort of fashion. So I will uh, just kind of describe the spawn locations do not matter in this. Uh, I think that it should just go to a default spawn. Uh, instead of long spawning you back here, it should spawn you right about here on the truck. Now in Gears 3, the map is smaller in comparison. You have less area to traverse, but I still would move the spawn up just for the competitive integrity of the mode so that there's a shorter distance in between the hills. I'll leave it at that. Uh, the good hills on the map that we and uh, the map designer talked about um, were particular locations where the hill is not only contestable but the flow of gameplay does not become stagnant based on how the ring uh placement is uh that's why uh hills that are in choke points or in different areas are not healthy for the gameplay uh that is also why hills like in the towers which you saw in the gears of war 3 or the gears of war ultimate edition beta uh there were hills up in these towers and they were the worst things to capture in your life because there are choke points here and here on both sides and then you have to run up a choke point uh not good for the flow of the game really did not like that overall uh really degraded the game of play on that particular section of the map there also was a hill uh, in UE that was in the sniper tower and that is the exact same issue the gameplay became very stale when she got up there it was literally just bodies hitting the floor there was no healthy fights there wasn't any kind of control it was just everybody just kept running up and the team that actually captured the hill most likely held that hill the entire time so it's not in a good spot uh, unless they open up the tower in some way with the age of the map uh, that would be something that I would say would be a good thing. Uh, Boomshot is very contestable. You can pick it up. Uh, the way that Escalation works is that you're allowed to put secondary weapons on Hammer Bursts. Uh, so you can have a Boltock, a long shot, or a Hammer Burst there. I think that's good. It makes this hill very contestable off of a starting point. Uh, and then P1 and P2, if you've seen how it worked on Foundation, there was always going to be a hill closest to you, and then there was going to be a hill closest to the spawn of the opposing team, and it will be mirrored on both sides. Uh, triangles are healthy. They make the gameplay and the flow better. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go look over at the... I think this is most likely going to be our opening hill set, uh, just because, again, you off base things with no power weapons this is actually a decent flow of the map there's nothing making the map op uh overpowered off the start uh, and just the way the cover is all balanced out hopefully they fix the weird tweaks on the cover uh where it's not perfectly symmetrical um mostly symmetrical is okay but a little bit more some more symmetricality actually would help this map out a little bit with just the placements of cover uh i do want to say a is a good spot B is a good spot, C is in a good spot. I don't see any issues with these. I think this is most likely going to be one of our set hill rotations. If not the first one, probably the second one. Uh, the second one I'm going to talk about is 
this set of hill rotations. Now, like I said, there were four good hills that we found in King of the Hill for Blitz. Uh, I would say that this D hill is most likely going to be the next hill. I cannot see them moving it into Snipe Tower unless they dynamically change the cover to be accessible to crosses from outside the tower. Uh, other than that, it'll become a stale cluster fight inside the tower again with smoke grenades, and we just don't need that. We need open hills that are accessible and have healthy fights. Now, I will say, if they do ch do any cover changes, that inside the tower would be okay. Uh, I think this would be all right, because there is smoke grenades now, but they need to dynamically change the cover within this area and this area to make that happen. That's why I chose to put it on the stairs, because that's more contestable. Uh, they've had it where it's in the hammer burst, but a dude can just hard aim you right here, and then it's pretty hard to break. But with the implementation of the drop shot and grenades and smoke grenades coming back, maybe not that bad, but I would hope that they wouldn't put it on the, that area. I just hope they move it down towards the stairs, just from a flow perspective. It's easy to get to. They can't really camp it. You can kind of push up and be a little bit more free. Uh, with that being said, that is gridlock and how I see it. Uh, like I said, I am not a huge fan of gridlock overall for execution game types. If you've seen people... Uh, in UE, it's pretty much grab the snipe, run back, and slow play the round until purgatory ends, and we end up with a draw or one team coming out on top. Um, it just has some core flow problems when it's not objective-based. Uh, I don't hate that... I didn't hate Blitz on it. I actually thought it worked halfway decently on it once we got the spawn swapped. Uh, I think on Escalation, it'll work. Uh, they just need to tweak a little bit of cover area and hopefully not put the hills in precarious situations where it's literally impossible to break. Uh, with that being said, this is going to be the end of this video. I will be on with more map videos later tonight. Uh, thank you. Like and subscribe. I will have more video content coming out weekly, almost daily, um, as it presents itself. Uh, thanks, everybody, and I'll talk to you later.